So now in this video we're going to have an alarm that goes off when the light gets too bright. We're going to use the active buzzer to make the alarm, but to set the circuit we're going to use an LED right there because these uh, buzzers are really loud. So right now it would be an alarm. Based on this light level we just turn the trim pot until right when the LED turns off. If this is the last light level we want where it will not go into alarm. And then we just remove the LED. It needs a protective resistor. The buzzer does not. We can connect it uh, directly to the uh, circuit. We can put five volts uh, across it. I'm not sure the voltage limit, but uh, they come in kits that you can use five volts. So I feel pretty safe using five volts with them. Now, there you can see that uh, the extra light causes it to go into alarm. So now I'm going to take the buzzer back, put the LED back, and we'll zoom in later on and take a close-up look at this circuit there. And I gotta be careful where I put the resistor because uh, one of these holes is uh, bad. Actually, I'm up one spot too high. There we go. And uh, now we will uh, lower this again. You can see the LED is on. We're going to go to the lowest lamp setting and have it go into alarm at uh, that point but I don't want it to go into alarm when I turn the overhead lamp off so that's going to be our uh, new spot there and it will go into alarm if I leave the lamp off so I'm going to turn or if I leave the lamp on I mean so I'm going to turn it off and there we go we got the buzzer in if I turn the lamp on it goes into alarm so we can easily adjust it that quickly to whatever light level we want. So now the first thing we're going to look at is the op amp because that's the heart of this circuit. So I'm using an LM358. I drew out the pin layout there. I always check the data sheet for the pin layout because op amps are different. This is a dual op amp. One on each side. You have to power it. So pin 8 positive supply and uh, pin 4 the negative supply. It's a single supply op amp. You can just have positive and negative which is ground. Or you could have a negative voltage in relationship to ground, where ground's a middle point. But we're not going to go into that in too much detail. So you notice on the schematic that uh, the plus is on top, whereas with the physical component, the plus is on uh, bottom. So the physical component, you can't change anything about it. But uh, schematic, sometimes the minus, the inverting is on top, and the plus, the non-inverting is on bottom. You got to pay close attention to that. So. The trim pot is the voltage we're going to set, that sets our sensitivity, whereas the reaction to light goes to the non-inverting input, so it compares those two voltages. So we got the trim pot, and it goes to the minus, which is pin 2, second pin two, second pin down I should say. So there you can see, comes to that jumper, goes to the middle, that's the wiper, and then the resistive element goes across there, plus 5 and zero pretty straightforward now we're going to look at our uh, light dependent resistor there so it goes to the non-inverting input and we can zoom in a little bit more and we're going to put it to the positive supply so i did turn the power supply off there is the non-inverting input the plus and i'm just going to jump over the op amp right there and there you can see we got pin 8 positive supply and pin 4 to the negative supply. Now we need to make a voltage divider. So under bright light it connects better to uh, 5 volts, raises the uh, voltage. Uh, but without this other resistor it's just 5 volts going across there. So we have 10,000 ohm resistor again to the non-inverting input and right below it is ground because that jumper comes across. So we're just gonna connect right down there. So this pulls the voltage down uh, if it's dark, you have a lot of resistance there, we have a lower voltage. You get bright light on there, it connects better, and it raises the voltage. It's a voltage divider, pretty straightforward. Now we're going to go to the output. So this op amp, I don't know how well it can control a buzzer, and maybe I'll look at that in other circuitry, but uh, we can just simply make it so it controls an NPN bipolar junction transistor. Since it's a single supply op amp, the output connects to ground uh, fairly well, but it's limited with how much current it can provide. We looked at that in an earlier video, and uh, so it didn't drop to ground when it had to provide current. So 
we just have a 10,000 ohm resistor to control an NPN bipolar junction transistor that's up here. And I did put the uh, names of the pins, the terminals, on the schematic right there. And here is the uh, component. Hopefully you can see that. So we have the emitter on the left, base in the middle, collector on the right. But if we turn it to the right, now the emitter is at the bottom, base is in the middle, collector is on top. I've done a bunch of videos where we look at this in detail. So we're just going to kind of rush through this. So the output there, 10,000 ohm resistor, the output is the top pin right there. And so that turns the transistor on and off. A small current through a base to emitter allows many times the current from collector to emitter. And the buzzer needs somewhere around, I think, 25 milliamps of current approximately. Not too bad. So I do have the power off, so we don't have to worry about the light level right now. But we take the active, so there's epoxy on the bottom there. The passive doesn't have the epoxy there. The passive, you need to give it uh, pulses to get it to buzz. The active, you just apply the uh, voltage to it, a steady voltage. So that side's more uh, positive. I accidentally put it in backwards before. It just didn't buzz when it should have, when it was backwards. And we're going to go straight across right there to... Uh, the other pin went to that top one. I know it's kind of hard to see when I inserted it. And so now I'm going to turn the uh, power on. Well, we'll come back. We'll see how much current it needs now. It should need a lot less current than it did when we were using the transistor before because we needed a lot more current for the rest of the circuit. I'm going to make it so it doesn't buzz so loud. And uh, the power's not on. That's the problem. That's always the first thing you should check if your circuit's not working. And there you can see, we have it working right there. And uh, when it comes to the LED before, remember I, uh, I showed we could use the LED to set the light levels. And in case there was any confusion, I'll also show that. And so we need to make sure the long lead, the anode is more positive, short lead, the cathode is more negative. This is another component, you put it in backwards, it just doesn't work when uh, everything's wired and the power's applied and everything. Since we're using uh, five volts, 220 ohm resistor, come to the collector. Now this slot, I damaged it, and uh, so it doesn't go into uh, that slot anymore. You may be able to see that uh, there's metal sticking out. So I put it in the next one, next to it. And we can just turn the trim pot down. This isn't uh, loud and annoying where I gotta cover it and keep it short. There you can see the LED turned on. When I turn the sensitivity uh, to light down with the trim pot, very easily adjustable. So, in any case, hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting the screen, and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.